Fish on. Fish out. Oh yeah, it's a good redfish. Oh yeah, it's a really good redfish. Really, really good redfish. Oh. Hey! I got a good one. Not long ago, I decided to ditch the corporate grind to pursue my passions for traveling and the great outdoors. So I sold everything, moved into a trailer full time, and now I'm fishing my way across the entire country. There we go. Fish out. Look at that. You're watching Field Trips with Robert Field. That was insane. Just keep doing what you're doing over there. Well, I got it. I mean, I got you, man. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to another episode of Field Trips. Today, I'm in uh, on the nature coast of Florida, a place called Ozello. Here with Shane Williams, who's the uh, pro staff manager for Wilderness Systems. Here with Darren O'Brien, who I've been staying with for the week. Uh, Darren's a brand ambassador for Wilderness Systems. Uh, his wife, Jody is here, his better half. Absolutely. <laughs> there in a couple tarpons. Uh, I'm going to be in the Radar 135 today, so is Shane. This is Shane's cousin, Zach. And we got Mike Treadway, who's on a boat board. We're going to get out here and see if we can't find some redfish, some trout. Always a chance of some snook. We should get on some fish today with this many people here. <laughs> Someone's bound to catch a fish today. Got fish on, a little red. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, I got a little one. I'm fighting this little red. Smash that little paddle tail. I mean, not the monster we're out here looking for, but fun little fight. Let this guy go. one right there. Brian's got a trout on and Darren just hooked up with a red over there but it sounds like it came off. Don't spook it, hold on. God, he tails for, oh there he is. All right guys, so I've been seeing a ton of fish, cannot get them to bite, but I've been noticing that all the bait that I'm seeing in the water is a lot smaller than the paddle tail I've been throwing. So I just downsized to this little guy. I mean, this thing is tiny, this is H and H tackle, tiny little swim bait, little paddle tail, but it's a lot closer in size to all the bait fish that I've been seeing. So I'm hoping that this will match the hatch a little bit better. Let's see if we can't start getting some bites on this little guy. See it? Nice. Mike Treadway here, sucking himself a little red. We've been seeing a ton, haven't been able to get him to eat very much, but Mike tricked one of them. All right, Shane Williams hooked up. What you got? What is it? Let's see it. Nice. That was a fight, boy. I think that's a little pompano. They're good to eat. I don't know the regulations. You getting good shots? Got that. <laughs> Say something profound, and then we'll let it go. I looked at Robert Field. <laughs> what was that? 
It sounded like you had something really smart ass to say, but I, I, I didn't hear it over the splash. <laughs> I was about to let you have it, but uh, now I'm, I'm gonna let you have it. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting skinny now. I am dragging. Brian says it'll be deep over here by these kind of rocky banks, these oysters. Over where we're at here, it's there's barely enough water to float. But we've been seeing these redfish shallow. They're in here. All right, fish on finally. Out here in the kind of deep drop off. Yeah, he's decent for sure. Woo! Yeah, definitely slot fish. Pretty solid. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on. Yeah! Nice fish, dude, finally. Good Lord, it has been a grind. We've seen a million redfish. Could not get them to eat all day. This guy smashed the Z-Man shrimps. Oh, fun fight. Hit it pretty much the second I hit the water. Right off that little kind of oyster shoal. Beautiful fish, nice redfish, about 24 inches. Uh, it's been a tough day. We've seen about a million redfish. Just have not been able to get them to eat. Brian got the one earlier. Finally got one to the boat. Feels good. But this guy's in the slot, we're gonna keep it. Nope. He's gonna be dinner. He's got no spots. Nice, oh yeah, he doesn't have any spots. No spots. All right. That's a nice stud, bud. Yeah, oh, man, God. finally. Beginning to give up hope. No, he there he was. Fish on, it's a nice red fish. Cool. Oh yeah, nice red, it's fighting hard. A little look at him, he's pretty big. I can't tell how big yet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Solid fish. Solid. Dude, it's a good one, bro. Stop. Yeah. That's not big enough. Ah. Yeah! Alright! Woo! That's what I'm talking about! Nice! Oh, yeah! Beautiful fish, got it on this tiny little swim bait. Been throwing bigger swim baits, no luck. Finally, downsize, started getting bites. Beauty, man. He smashed it. You saw him fighting too, dude. He was fighting hard. Might be over, bro. All right, guys. This fish is actually over slot, 28 and a half inches. So we're gonna let her on her way. Uh, we already got one from earlier, so we got some food for dinner. Beautiful fish, man. There she goes. Nice. Dude, that was fun. Fish on. Oh, feels like a redfish. Fish out! Oh yeah, it's a good redfish. Oh, it's a really good redfish. Fish out! Oh yeah, it's a really good redfish. Really, really good redfish. Ooh. Oh. Hey! I got a good one! <laughs> nice redfish. Oh, the small paddle tail I was just talking about is working. Kind of match the hatch, downsize after seeing all the smaller bait. And uh, 
I'm getting bit now. I definitely got on a pattern. Tides come in, so there's more water, so it's harder to find these guys, but oh yeah. It's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my God. It's a bull for sure, dude. Yeah. Bigger than the last one for sure. Oh my God. This is a good fish, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's not gonna fit my net. No way, dude. Stud redfish. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. <laughs> oh, she's thick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way! No! <laughs> yeah! Oh, look at this fish! Oh my god! Dude, what? They're getting bigger! Dude. Oh my god! Look at that stud, stud redfish! Oh my god! Paddle tails, bro? Oh my god. You a believer yet in the <laughs> paddle tail? Look yeah, at this I'm fish. Oh, nice redfish. Definitely over slot, and you can see this little paddle tail. This thing is doing work right now. Oh, yeah. Well, the bites have been hard to come by, but the bites have been big ones all day. Let's measure this guy in the accent paddle. Beautiful redfish, 29 inches. They are actually getting bigger. Uh, the bites have been hard to come by today, but the bites have been quality fish. Too much fun. All it took was a little bit of downsize of the bait, matching the hatch, little bait fish I've been seeing. Finally started getting some action. Woo! Yeah, buddy! Alright guys, well, super fun day out here chasing redfish on the nature coast. Uh, saw probably 40 redfish today. I mean, really clear water, really shallow water. We were seeing them everywhere. We were seeing them tailing. We just could not get them to bite for most of the day. Finally, I stuck one. Started to figure out a pattern. Downsized my baits. It's winter time. All the bait I was seeing was really small. As soon as I downsized that paddle tail, it didn't take too long. Got another fish in the boat. So. Smaller one went 24 inches. We kept that guy, got it on ice. We're about to cook it up. So coming up next will be the cook portion of this catch and cook video. We'll show you guys how we're gonna cook up this redfish. All right guys, we just got back from catching these redfish. Super fun day, Ozello. Just an absolute gorgeous place. It's been a long day on the water, about 10, 11 hours. We just got showered up. And now we're gonna cook up this redfish, the one keeper that we caught. And Darren has got super secret killer recipe for redfish, so we're gonna see how he does it. Darren O'Brien with Irish Seduction Fishing here with Robert, and we're getting ready to cook this redfish up. I'm gonna use my secret recipe. Um, now it's not gonna be so secret. <laughs> what we do is we take an orange, cut it in half. If you got small oranges, you may have to use the whole thing and then cut up another one. You squeeze the orange juice onto the fillets before going on, and then you put it on it. McCormick's perfect Caribbean jerk seasoning. Just the orange and the Caribbean jerk seasoning. Kind of almost want to coat it to like a blackening layer. Put the juice on both sides of the filet and the seasoning on both sides of the filet. And it's ready to go. Nice. Oh, Corona is optional. <laughs> for me, it's not enough. I was about to say, yeah, not, <laughs> speak for yourself. <laughs> I pop it on the grill with a few wood chips in there to give it a little smoke flavor. Cook it about, till you see the, the fish, the, the meat change in color about halfway up through it. Flip it over, do the same till it's all white. Right before you pull it off, take the other half of the orange, squeeze it on there. So as it comes in, let it sit for 30 seconds or so, pull it off, let it stand the normal time, and it's ready to serve with whatever tartar sauce or no tartar sauce, however you like to eat it. 
for the starter sauce, I use mayonnaise, mustard, usually maybe 70% and 30% mustard. Uh, mustard could be brown mustard, yellow mustard, whatever mustard your choice. Sweet relish or dill relish, again, your choice. And then I use um, a couple different manufacturers, but the Creole seasoning, um, Cajun Creole seasoning, and sprinkle that into the mustard and then mix all, or into the sauce and mix all that together. Nice. Yeah. It's I really love good. tartar sauce. Oh, yeah. I'm a sucker like for this, tartar though. sauce. I've never had it like that. It sounds <laughs> good, though. Yeah. It's a nice addition to this. So, enjoy. <laughs> All right. The coup de gras. The orange right before it comes off. This moistens it back up because the grill tends to dry it out a little bit. And you smell the difference, in the, and now you can smell it. Oh, totally. So, it cooks the fresh orange into it a little bit. Good to go. Oh yeah. Sneak a piece. Oh yeah. <laughs> so good, dude. Uh huh. The Caribbean jerk with the orange. It's like perfect pairing. So good. Super moist because of the orange juice. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna let these scraps go to waste. Wait a minute. I gotta do it right. I gotta do it right here. Too good. Oh, here it is. Oh, the special turner. There you go. Yeah. Try it. Oh, yeah. I know it's a small piece, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tartar sauce is money. We have confirmation. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I could eat like two of whole fish of that. Uh huh. Exactly. So normally, good. Normally, when I eat fish like this, I don't eat anything else. I don't make condiments. I have the yeah. fish and the tartar sauce. No sides. Maybe a sandwich out of it with <laughs> right. some fresh lettuce and tomato on there. All you need is the fish. Yeah, exactly. Too good. Too good. <laughs> All right, let's get some grub over here picking up the crumbs. <laughs> hey. I still ate four to get in your plate. That's quite all right. I grabbed another one. We use Vidalia onion relish and use that in the tartar sauce with Creole season. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a meal. All right, guys. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode of Field Trips. That's gonna do it. Gotta try this recipe for redfish. It is incredible. For now, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna enjoy this meal. I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, guys. Well, my time here in Ocala, Florida has come to an end. Uh, it has been an absolute blast chasing redfish and bass with Darren and his wife, Jody. Um, they are just two of the most generous, gracious, just incredibly nice people that I think I've ever met. They have been so good to me this week while I've been here. Really just cannot thank them enough. I'm starting to realize that maybe the most rewarding part of this entire journey this nationwide tour that I'm going on isn't gonna be the fish or even the places or even the experiences that I'm gonna have. It's all the incredible people that I'm gonna meet along the way. So far, everyone has just been amazing to me. Um, really just blows me away. So anyways, it's been a fun-filled week, but it's time to get back on the road. I'm about to hitch up and it's time to head west to the Panhandle, Florida, to Pensacola and Destin to do some fishing inshore, maybe a little bit of offshore, and possibly even some bass fishing in some of the spring-fed rivers out there. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna be staying with a good buddy of mine, Greg Ammon, who I actually met at Los Buzos Resort in Panama. He was one of our clients on the last trip. We got to talking. He's got a few acres of land. So I'm gonna head there and spend the next week on his property doing some fishing with Greg. So uh, this has been an incredible week, another fun chapter. But it's time to get moving, get this show on the road. Catch you guys on the next episode.